ధర్మిస్టర్ ధర్మిస్టర్ రిఫర్స్ టు థర్మల్ రెసిస్టెన్స్ ద ఎయిమ్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్ ఈజ్ కండక్ట్ అండ్ ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్ టు డిటర్మిన్ ద టెంపరేచర్ కోఎఫిషియంట్ ఆఫ్ ఎలక్ట్రికల్ రెసిస్టెన్స్ ఫర్ ద ధర్మిస్టర్ ది అపారటస్ రిక్వైర్డ్ ఈజ్ ధర్మిస్టర్ ధర్మోమీటర్ ఓవెన్ కాన్స్టెంట్ పవర్ సప్లై గ్యాల్వనోమీటర్ డిజిటల్ మల్టీమీటర్ కనెక్టింగ్ ప్రూఫ్స్ ఐ షుడ్ షో ది అపారటస్ ఆన్ ద ధర్మిస్టర్ ట్రైనర్ కిట్ నో దిస్ ఈజ్ అ ధర్మిస్టర్ ట్రైనర్ కిట్ on this kit we can see the wheatstone bridge type circuitry arrangement formed by four resistances r1 r2 these are fixed resistance values r1 r2 the two adjacent resistances are fixed and the other two adjacent resistances are one is a variable resistance other is a thermistor resistance on the these in the along these two opposite terminals we are going to connect an zero centered galvanometer it is shown here the zero centered galvanometer is shown here and the terminals are indicated here positive 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 negative is the terminals and this is the constant dc power supply of 5 volts positive positive terminal and negative terminal and this is the variable resistance the range of resistance is 0 to 1000 ohms this is the range of resistance and this is this is the oven in which the, the, the thermistor is inserted and these two refer to the terminals of the thermistor and this is the thermistor this is the thermometer for measuring the temperature and this is a temperature controller this is the digital multimeter from this year we are going to measure the variable resistance and the thermistor resistance value these are the connecting probes measure the resistances resistance value along this terminal along the adjacent arm of this uh, wheatstone bridge by using a multimeter and also the resistance of the other adjacent arm again by using a multimeter or you can do that by using the color code mechanism as shown here by the color codes are given for each resistance here by using this color codes also you can determine what is the resistance values now we shall uh, complete the circuitry arrangement now uh, first i'll include the power supply this is a post plus 5 volt terminal this is the given to the 5 volt terminal of the battery this is the where negative terminal of the battery should be included and i have given here the 5 volt power supply i have finished here the power supply connections now i shall include the galvanometer i am connecting the positive terminal to positive terminal of the galvanometer and this negative terminal here negative terminal of the junction to the negative terminal of the galvanometer now resistances have uh, have no terminals actually that is why we can directly connect so here i am giving the including the thermistor along this adjacent arm of the circuit i include the variable resistance along the other edges and top of this okay. now the circuit arrangement is completed now switch on this power supply you can see this galvanometer the galvanometer here indicates an a non zero value that means the the wheatstone bridge is in an unbalanced state unbalanced state means the ratio of these two the ratio of the resistance of the two adjacent terms that is r1 and the variable resistance is different from the ratio of the resistance of the other two adjacent terms that is r2 and thermistor now balance the wheatstone bridge by changing this variable resistance gradually balance this wheatstone bridge that is the galvanometer should show a zero deflection now measure this variable resistance that is with how much value of variable resistance the bridge is, is being balanced measure this value for that i am using here a multimeter here right the value of the resistance is found to be around 750 kilo ohms sorry the resistance is found to be 266 ohms that is at room temperature remove this multimeter probes and include the variable resistance again now what the way the variable resistance value by which the uh, the bridge is being balanced is at room temperature for sample i have shown the room temperature measurement here and the variable resistance may, uh, by which the bridge is balanced at room temperature is 266 ohms now 
that is the room temperature value that is around 30 degrees centigrade the variable resistance by which the bridge is balanced is 266 ohms now switch on this oven and slightly increase the temperature control now what happens is as as the now the temperature of this thermistor is going to gradually increase initially from room temperature of near approximately 30 degrees centigrade this temperature of the thermistor is going to gradually increase now once the temperature is reached about 75 degrees centigrade around 75 degrees centigrade just simply switch off this oven after the oven is being turned off due to induction the temperature will further rise but gradually it's again after reaching a some some highest possible value of 80 or 85 from that temperature the thermistor will start to cool that is it starts to gradually decrease the temperatures will start to gradually decrease now in our observation table we have to record what is the variable resistance value with which the bridge is balanced at different temperatures that is that is starting from 75 to 35 degrees centigrade that is we have to record the observations during the cooling cycle of the experiment that is because as i have said earlier you have switched on the uh, switch off the oven you have switched off the oven at uh, 75 degrees centigrade and because of uh, say induction the induction effect the temperature gradually rises to 85 from there it starts to cool on cooling when the temperature has attained has reached a 75 degrees value now simply balance the wheatstone bridge balance the bridge again by using this variable resistance so this galvanometer should show a zero deflection value it should show a zero deflection value show that now now record what is the variable resistance value at that point and after it cools to 70 again record what again balance the wheatstone bridge and again what and again record what at, uh, by using what value of resistance the bridge is balanced again simply do for other do again for 65 degrees repeat the similar procedure for 60 degrees 55 degrees and so on for 35 degrees also once i am repeating measure the measure the resistance with which the variable resistance with which the bridge is balanced at different temperatures starting from 75 to 35 we are going to do that now these are the variable resistance values for different temperatures starting from 75 degree centigrade to 35 degree centigrade during the cooling cycle of the graph during the cooling cycle now these are the observations at 75 degree centigrade the variable resistance by which the bridge is balanced is around 75 similarly for 70 degree centigrade it is around rv is about 89 degree centigrade for 65 degree centigrade rv is about 106 60 degree centigrade rv equal to 116 55 degree centigrade rv equal to 139 50 degree centigrade rv is 153 45 degree centigrade rv is 172 and 40 degree centigrade rv is 193 and at 35 degree centigrade rv is observed to be 230 ohms the thermistor resistance rt can be calculated by from the balancing condition of this wheatstone bridge that is p by q equal to r by s so from our circuit diagram we, we observed that we have seen that p refers to r1 on the in the circuitry arrangement and r refers to r2 q refers to variable resistance rv s refers to rt now r1 and r2 are measured by using the multimeter the values are being measured by the multimeter and rt can be can be determined by the relation rt equal to r2 by r1 into rv this relation can be used only in the balancing during the balancing condition of the bridge because all the observations are recorded during the balancing condition only that is when the when the zero centered galvanometer shows a zero deflection now rt can now be obtained as 3 rv because r1 is found to be uh, R2 is found to be 3 times of R1 from a multimeter measurement, hence RT is close to 3 RV. Now the thermistor resistance at the temperatures starting at the temperatures of 75 to 35 degrees centigrade can be uh, determined as follows, that is in the range of 225 to 690, simply multiplying by 3. Now we can see here the graph, the model graph. Now I have plotted a graph between resistance of the thermistor versus the temperature. Now you can see an exponential curve here of resistance versus, te versus temperature because uh, thermistor is basically a semiconductor. Hence you can see in because that the temperature upon increasing the temperature resistance decreases in an exponential manner. You can, you can observe it. Now from this now we are going at different temperatures that is from that is from 35 that is starting from 35 to 75. Record the measure plot the corresponding resistance values and join all the points by using an exponential curve 
from this curve take any two temperatures of your choice that is random values of two temperatures from the from your from the graph can be taken one is t1 small t1 other is t2 now find out what is the resistance corresponding to temperature t1 from the graph and find out what is the uh, resistance of the thermistor at temperature t2 from the graph now, substituting the values of r1 and r2 the resistance values of the thermistor r1 and r2 corresponding to temperatures t1 and t2 in the formula we can calculate what is alpha in 